Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I am back with a um, ColourPop, or mainly ColourPop video. Um, I'm also going to be addressing the tag that's going around. What would you do if you lost all your makeup uh, kind of thing. So to go ahead and get stru or started with what I have on today, and the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. Um, I did use the Self Tanner, so I'm using a darker shade right now. It's actually a light shade, but it's 53 warm, so that's what I have on right now. For me, that's dark. And then I went ahead and used the Pretty Fresh Concealer as well. <clears throat> as far as bronzer today, I used the ColourPop uh, I'll bet and this is one of their putty bronzers uh, get sandy is actually the lightest shade that's usually sold out uh, this the next shade up and it's called the I'll bet and so that's what I have on there um, I did go ahead and use my Bridgerton I love the packaging on these uh, blushes that I picked up over at uh, TJ Maxx and so I used uh, this one on the back part of the cheek and then this one on the apple of the cheek so that's what I have on there and again I I think it's fun I think it looks like a hat box kind of thing so yeah love the packaging on these and then um, as far as the highlighter this is the out of quartz by uh, ColourPop it's a super shock cheek I'm actually using it for highlighter today and I think it's one of the prettiest ones that they've ever done so that's what I have on there and uh, as far as getting into the eyes to go ahead and use the usual suspects the cool ash brown by um, NYX, a Thicket Stick It for the brow, and then the Sky High by Maybelline, and this one's in the Cosmic Black uh, for the mascara, and that's what I have on there. And uh, back to ColourPop, I have on the Girl Please here, as far as the lip, and then I put some lip gloss, this is So Glassy and Epiphany, and I've worn off all, <laughs> yeah, that's totally gone at this point. So I've had this for a while and I like it. And then um, as far as the actual, um, what I have on my eyeballs, I went ahead and used the Lavish palette and this one is new by ColourPop. And um, I've heard some people saying that they don't think that it has um, a lot of pigment or that they've just been, um, that it isn't uh, the formula isn't working out and that's not what I found. Um, I think that it tends to be a periwinkle into a purple kind of palette and it's pretty light. There are a couple of dark shades but it's gonna give you a lighter look anyway. Um, this one I used right under the brow. This one I used on the inner corner. I went ahead and used all three of these matte shades right here in the crease and then I went ahead and used this one on the lid, uh, this one on the outer corner, and then this one as an eyeliner. And I did mix in some of the, well I consider it a sister palette to this one, and it's the All Amethyst. So uh, yeah, All Amethyst uh, does run a little bit darker has some more red tones in there. Uh, for today, I went ahead and used this right on the very center of the eye, and then a little bit of this right below the brow. And so, yeah, I think they're sister palettes. And so, um, let me go ahead and get both of them here. So, yeah, I think they work really well together. And I used to do a series on which palettes would work really well together. And I think these two do. You can definitely add in some depth with this one, get a little bit more of a, um, add some red into the look with this one. But yeah, I think they go really well together. And um, let's see, as far as what else I did today, I went ahead and added the Beauty Pie, the Triple Beauty Perfect Glowy powder as my finishing powder on there. 
so that's what I have on there. With Beauty Pie, um, they actually have some options. They're a service where you buy a year-long membership. They're mainly known for their uh, skin care, but um, you can go ahead and now you can do like a monthly membership and things. So it's, yeah, it's a fun company. And they have some really good products. So <clears throat> as far as the way that the eye look turned out, here, this way that this one turned out, and so that's the way that that looks. As far as the tag, what would I do if I lost all my makeup? Um, I've had that happen. I'm surprised that uh, the videos I've seen, more people haven't said, yeah, I've had that happen because I've had luggage that got lost where I didn't have any makeup. I had, um, let's see, everything packed into a makeup bag and something spilled and so everything was ruined. I've had that happen. It had it happen where I moved and I hadn't been using a lot of makeup, but everything that I had just disappeared. So I guess I'm maybe a good person to go ahead and address this one. Um, at the time that I had that happen, I didn't have access to Sephora or to Ulta. And so what I ended up purchasing was a CoverGirl concealer and a CoverGirl mascara. And um, that's what I consider to be the basic minimum, minimum of I won't go out of the house without those on kind of things. So um, that's what happened to me and that's how I'm addressing that tag. And um, again, I don't know who to get the credit to because I don't know who uh, started it. But um, I think that's pretty much the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye.